Rod. I'm Carlos. And together we run Hot Rod Cafe in New London for the last 14 or so. Go ahead to 15. 14, 15 years <laughs> so far. We've been talking about doing a cooking show forever. So this year, in 2020, we decided to finally do it. We don't know the name of it quite yet. We've been kicking some ideas around. Hopefully you guys can give us some suggestions as far as what we could do. But um, Carlos has been cooking great food here at Hot Rods forever. And um, we've won Best Wings. We've won national awards, regional awards. Carlos even won this award in a chocolate contest, a chowder contest. So we figured let's do a show to help people cook and have some fun and, and do what we love. So what are you gonna be making today, Carlos? Uh, today we're gonna make a black Ita chili salmon uh, with a little twist. Um, we have a special, there's mango salsa, but today we're gonna do it with pineapple. Hi everyone, this is Jody from Hot Rod Cafe. I hope you're having a great summer because we sure are down here at the cafe. Um, but we understand that with the current times you may not be able to come down and visit us or you might be living far away. And so we are creating these videos to show you how to make amazing food and drinks. Um, and today we're gonna start with the cucumber cilantro margarita per Chef Carlos's request. Um, we start with a silver tequila over here. We have our sliced fresh cucumber, fresh cilantro, sugar, fresh cut limes, some triple sec, and a little bit of salt for the rim, obviously your choice, and some ice. So first we're gonna rim a glass of your choice. I like these bucket glasses, but you can use a margarita glass if you like. So you're just gonna take your lime, go right around the edge, and if you like salt, some people like sugar, you can do a spicy rim, it's always fun. A few slices of cucumber, and a generous amount of cilantro leaves. And then we will squeeze a lime and a couple tablespoons of sugar. And we'll take a muddler and we'll just kind of press down, muddle everything together. And then we're gonna add some tequila, about two, two and a half ounces, depends on how much you like to drink. I like to eyeball it again. We'll also add about two ounces of triple sec, a little bit of pineapple juice, I like a splash and some more lime juice. So about the juice of one whole lime. A little icing. And we wanna shake it vigorously. So. And after you've shaken it, you're gonna add some fresh ice to your rimmed glass. You have something like a strainer. You will strain your shaken margarita in. And voila, the cucumber cilantro margarita. For right now, back to your regularly scheduled program. Thank you. All right, now Carlos is gonna show us what we're using today. So we're gonna use uh, fresh salmon. To make the salsa, we're gonna use a uh, pineapple, nice lime, four pounds of uh, tomatoes. We got jalapenos, bell pepper, and we got a green onion and coarse cilantro. For the salad ingredients, we have like uh, peppers, grape tomatoes, cucumbers. For the salmon, we're gonna sear up with a little bit of Thai chili. And when I make the salsa, I will put in a little bit of pineapple juice, a little bit of vinegar, and coarse hot sauce and then lettuce for the salad. I, usually I right? use a nice green mixed lettuce. All right, so let's show the people how to do this. To make the blackened salmon, um, I recommend use any kind of Cajun seasoning. But in Hot Rose, I, I, we got our Cajun seasoning, but I, we put stuff on to make a little extra special. Um, my main thing in here is a little bit of cumin. <laughs> you laugh, because I always joke, it's <laughs> just cumin and everything, but uh, everything he makes is good. Uh, uh, oregano, um, and salt, and pepper. Um, don't and tell them everything, don't tell them everything. And a little <laughs> bit of <laughs> cayenne pepper. But the rest, I think pretty much is the same. And the only thing you have to make sure is the, um, one thing, you be careful with the fish sometimes has bones on it. So I make sure you know if you're gonna serve with a little kid, just check it out, you never know. All right, let's go. So it's pretty simple. You mix it up all together, and then you take your piece of salmon. It's gonna be about the right, and it looks nice right there. Now, it, right now, what you're cutting up the tomatoes. So what I do is I'm trying to cut it out this part. Only have the nice uh, part of the tomato. Like the meat of the tomato. Uh, we're gonna cut up the onion. You didn't cut it out. You just cut this part out. Um, you go like this. 
Okay, so then when you then when you go through the slice, it's already yep. making the chop the small diced onions. It's nice. So we gotta get the red pepper. Yes, yes sir. Hey, we use jalapenos, not the habanero, because these aren't that spicy, right? Yes, that's so, right. But they give that little kick. Then we gotta need two jalapenos. All right, so same things. You cut these and then you cut them real small for yep. pepper. The fish smells so good. I almost wish we had the technology for smell a vision right now because it smells really good to hear. What I did is I turned it down. They could keep cooking it slow, but it's already done. Just waiting for a little sizzle to go in there. So we got the jalapenos already in. They look good already, all those different colors in there. Yeah. And um, now what do you, I will show you something. Um, one of the things that make um, difference is fresh lime. You always have to have an acid when you're making yeah. a salsa, right? Oh my goodness. This 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 is the part that they make um, all these flavors come together. So okay. the next we're gonna have some fresh cilantro, right? Okay. So we chop up the cilantro really good. How do you say that? Piña. Yes. Una piña. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use about half a pineapple. Oh well, actually maybe a quarter of pineapple, let me see. So we do it like that. And we're gonna cut it really, really, really fine. Now we got all together. Eat the juice. We're gonna put a little bit of pineapple juice, then we're gonna add a little bit of salt pepper, a little bit of vinegar, of course the hot sauce. Definitely right now it's ready, it looks pretty awesome. much ready to go. So this is the part, one of your tricks um, as far as glazing the fish. I put, we'll put on top of that fish. So for the salad, we're, like you said, we're gonna use a nice um, fresh uh, green mix. Masculine mix, spring mix, um, all nice and fresh. So what we're gonna do is take a nice bunch of that. Carlos's salads have definitely spoiled me. I go to a lot of quote unquote nice restaurants and we, you get a little tiny salad or you get, there's a lot of iceberg in there. I'm not an iceberg snob, I love it on my tacos, I love it in certain things, but when I'm having salad, I like to see different greens. And also he makes the salads with a nice height and everything and these different mixed greens really help with the height. It's just a visually pleasing salad. <laughs> And, it, and it's nice to, you know, people out there that love salads, uh, they know the difference between a nice um, uh, fresh greens and from all the stuff that's sitting and they're working for a couple of days. Right. <laughs> now you just put the that, grape that, tomatoes on. Grape tomatoes right? on. Cut them in half. Cut them in half. Yeah. Yeah, some peppers. When people come to Hot Rods for a salad, they usually, two people can eat off it or somebody usually has their salad and then has some lunch the next day also. It's not these little tiny salads you see. And we're gonna, we're gonna add the cucumbers and what I do is I cut it really nice and fine, which is gonna be on top of my salmon. Now, uh, to serve the salsa. So when I make the specials, what I do, I usually put like a nice chunk of pineapple salsa. I uh, see with the heat, how that did it, it made it a little bit stickier. Yeah, and then, and there you go. There's the salad. The Thai, the blackened Thai chili, salmon salad with pineapple salsa.